I had my bike serviced and it had it all tuned up and ready to go so I picked it up at Bicycle Outfitters in Leesburg and decided to take a relatively short ride um, along the Winchester and Old Dominion Railroad Trail. Uh, the trail is 45 and a half miles, runs from Shirlington, Virginia all the way to Percival, Virginia over 45 and a half miles. Uh, some of it is um, actually I don't think any of it is on the street actually you have to cross some streets uh, right now I'm just riding down the sidewalk from the bicycle shop to get there. The trail is nice because it's uh, because it's a rails to trails uh, project it's uh, there's no real heavy grades so there's no real up or down I mean there are up and downs but there's not major hills to climb it's nice it's paved uh, most of it is under shade and I have ridden the whole thing back years ago when I lived in Virginia I would ride pretty frequently to Leesburg at least and sometimes to Percival and have lunch and then turn around and go back. Those were in the days where I was riding a lot. But I really haven't ridden the bike much. Um, this bike I bought when I moved to San Antonio and I bought a mountain bike because I didn't like riding on the roads in San Antonio because it was too hot and they really don't have a lot of bike trails in San Antonio but they have a lot of dirt track. So I rode the dirt track for a while, but that wasn't really me. So I haven't ridden the bike for a long time. I sold the my road bike and I kept this one because I figured it'd be great to putter around the campgrounds in. But I really haven't done that either because it was way out of adjustment and it needed to be tuned up. So I finally got around to taking it to Bicycle Outfitters there in Leesburg and they tuned it up and fixed all the little problems and now I'm out making sure or testing it out. So like I said it's been a long time since I've ridden any distance and this bike yeah, I can tell you that my legs I haven't gone very far yet but my legs are already burning and I'm already sweating and it's nice out today it's probably 73 degrees so it's certainly not anything that I should be miserable about. But my legs are burning. My butt's getting sore. It's a skinny little seat on this bike. And I, I guess I'm just not used to it. It's just like riding a motorcycle. If you don't ride for a long time, once you get back on, you know, riding two or three hundred miles can be a little challenging. So anyway, I rode, uh, I don't know, a little more than a mile and change up the trail, and then I turned around and rode back a different way. Um, this is a pretty long video, but I wanted to leave it long so you could actually see how nice this trail really is. But I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll speed it up for a while.
in this speeded up version you can hear a little squawk when I'm passing somebody and that's because I always call out on your left when I'm going by. Unfortunately most of these people don't do that when they're passing you so you're surprised when they do pass you and it's just common courtesy to let somebody know you're sneaking up behind them. A lot of these people have headphones on so you can't do it quietly so yeah, I really have to announce yourself and that's just basic courtesy and safety. There's my rant for this video. Another thing that's nice about this trail is that along the trail there are several parks where you could pull off or stop and have a picnic lunch. Uh, they, some of them have barbecue grills, some of them have shelters, and uh, I guess most of them have picnic tables. There are also benches along the path. Uh, there are also historical markers that tell you what was going on, mostly like Civil War era kind of thing. Um, it's just a really well thought out trail. Um, I wish there were more of them around the country. Uh, particularly I wish there were more in San Antonio that were under trees because it's really hot I think riding on the road. And look, who is this? Who did I run into? But my son, my daughter-in-law, and the two grandbabies. So I pulled over and they came over and we chatted for a while. It was certainly surprising to see them 
guys ready? He's right there! See? See, look who it is! We're as far as not here. So after a nice chat, we went our separate ways. I continued along the path while Jeff and Laura and Alex and James headed back to their house to have some lunch. On your left. Now we'll pick up the pace a little bit here. Now we're actually heading back. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to the truck, load up the bike, head to the grocery store, and then go back to the RV and edit the video and hang out with the dogs.
three left. And here we are back at Bicycle Outfitters and the truck. I think the total distance covered today was uh, about four and a quarter miles. And that was plenty for me.